take off, we're going to go ahead and apply a primer potion. I'm using one with no color and just applying a little bit and then evening that out with my fingers. I like using my fingers because I feel like the warmth of my fingers warms up the product. Now taking a nice frosty shade and a fluffy brush, I'm going to apply that to the inner corners and to the brow bone and just slightly to the inner um, corner of the eye. I'm doing this because it's going to help the eye seem much more awake, but I'm using a fluffy brush that way it's more sheer wash of color and it's not really packing the color on. So just really work that into the inner corners and to the brow bone. And I'm going to hopefully show you this other eye in this tutorial to kind of give you a different angle to see what I'm doing. So hopefully it can help some of you that are trying to follow along. So just go back and just make sure you really kind of brighten up that eye in area. You can see there where it really kind of makes a difference um, from where the rest of my skin tone is. Next color we're using is a bronzy color. This one's deeper from the Anniversary palette from Urban Decay and a small pointer brush. Feel free to use a different brush depending on your eye shape, but for me this works fine. And I'm just kind of laying down the shadow in the shape that I want it. So for me I'm kind of doing a uh, V shape going almost all the way to the inner corner of my eye, just stopping short from where we placed down that color. And then a nice tiny brush to really work that color underneath the lash line. That's that same bronze color. Then taking a dome shaped brush I'm using this one because it's a little bit stiffer than a regular fluffy brush and really, really work the shadow out. This is where I'm really going to blend. Obviously the key to most of my looks, what I like to do is blending, but that's because I know I'm a little OCD when it comes to blending, but I really feel like it gives a nice polished look to the eye. So I'm really working the shadow out. What I like to do is kind of flick the edges out, especially on the outer corner, to make sure I maintain my shape, that it doesn't get muddy and kind of lost. So really kind of work where you want the color to kind of end and begin and then just work that edge out. So I'm going to show kind of extra steps in blending pretty much almost everything I did to blend. I know for some of you that know how to blend, it might be a little bit boring. Just kind of checking to make sure kind of the status of it. But for those of you who kind of need a little bit more step by step, feel free to follow along. I really show you every kind of step I took to blend this color out. Now moving on to the other eye, I'm hoping that showing you this new angle will kind of help um, those who are trying to follow along. Um, I tried really hard to keep it in the frame, but sometimes, uh, you know, I just couldn't get it. So I'm still working on camera angles, but as you can see, I'm just really working it back and forth and then normally doing small kind of circles, but back and forth normally works best for me when I'm trying to really maintain a shape. So you can see there, I'm just kind of flicking the color up into my crease, making sure I maintain the same shape where I place down the shadow and then just kind of flicking it out and working the edges around. For some reason this day I found the shadow a little hard to blend in, which is kind of uh, strange for most Urban Decay shadows, but you know, sometimes that happens. So again, flicking the shape out, that way I make sure that I don't really lose that kind of outer wing. And then just bringing it back around and making sure it's nicely blended so you can't see where it stops and where it begins. That's the whole point and kind of key to this look. Now we're moving on to the next color, and it's Naked from the Urban Decay Naked palette. Any light brown or kind of flesh tone will work. Um, you know, obviously you have a deeper flesh tone, use a different color, but this is an extra trick that you can use to really make your eyeshadow look blended. Using a nude tone to just go around the edges will really make it look like it's flawlessly blended out. Um, so even if you don't want to take the extra time to blend and you're in a pinch, go ahead and take a neutral shade close to your, a little bit deeper than your skin tone, and just go around the edges and you'll find that it will make it blend it flawlessly. I'm using a black coal liner and I'm lining the upper lash line. It does not have to be perfect by any stretch of the imagination. I just kind of kept it really close to the lash line because I really wanted to have my lashes defined. So I just moved that. And then I took that same small smudger brush that I used underneath my eyes for my lower lash line and smudged it into the top of my lashes. This is going to give it a nice defined look, but without being too, too dramatic or too stark, because obviously this look is all about being kind of soft and smoky. So you kind of want to do the same thing with your liner to make it all look like it's one piece. Again, just doing the same thing, smudging it and really working it into the lash line. You kind of almost want to be moving your lashes around when you do this. 
and I print brought it all the way down to the inner corner because when I line my eyes I really like it when I can see an eyeliner going all the way from the inner corner all the way to the out some people like to stop short but for me I think it looks a little um, like it's missing something it doesn't look like a quite put together look so I like to go all the way from the inner corner of my eye all the way to the outer corner now for the lower lash line I used a nude colored pencil and then I curled my lashes very important part I like to kind of squeeze and work my lashes, my curler, all the way down my lashes to really give it a nice curl. And as you can see here, kind of what I'm doing, I just kind of keep working it down the lash line. That way it doesn't look like it's just kind of one bent kind of eyelash. And then apply your favorite mascara. This is a waterproof one by one by one by Maybelline. And I just showed it how I kind of apply my mascara because I see people doing it slightly different. I really like to coat my lashes by twirling the brush because I feel like you kind of get the best, you know, look with that. And then I'm using my favorite, absolute favorite uh, mascara for the bottom lashes. It's Clinique Bottom Lash. It's only $10. You can get it at any Clinique counter or Sephora. But you can see there just how tiny the brush is. It really, really just works right into the lower lashes. I'm using a nice pinky blush, this is irresistible, and applying that to the tops of my cheekbones and kind of working it back towards the hairline. Now you can choose to do something different depending on your face shape, but for me, I think this just looks kind of normally the, the most attractive just by keeping it towards the top of the cheekbones and not so much on the apples. To finish off the look, I chose a nude, slightly pink lip gloss and applied that all over to my lips, and that was pretty much the look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this, found this helpful. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. It means so much to me. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.